In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your custom Namecheap domain to beacons.ai. This will be a full step-by-step -step tutorial, and by the end of it, you'll have connected your domain. So first, what you need to understand is to connect a custom domain from Namecheap or any other domain registration company. You need a paid plan for beacons. I have the Creator Pro plan, which is $8 per month. You can use any plan though, as long as it's a pro plan. Now, if you scroll down here, you can see you already get a free custom domain with this plan. Now, this video is not going to show you how you can register that. It will show you how to connect a custom domain that you've already got registered on Namecheap. So go to Namecheap.com, log into your account, then go ahead and hover over your username and go to your dashboard and then find the domain that you want to connect. I'm going to connect this one here, onlinehowtoguide.click. Yes, it is a very random domain, but just it's the only one I've got. This can work for any domain, by the way. So once you've got your domain ready, head to Beacons, go to your link in bio section. And here you can see, here's the domain that I've already registered, which I get for free with my pro plan. Now, once you're in link in bio, you need to go to settings. And then on settings, you'll see that custom domain that you've already registered. And you can see you've purchased it through Beacons. You just need to unlink this. So click on link and then just copy and paste the domain in here just to confirm that you want to unlink it. Now, don't worry, when you unlink it, it won't be obviously linked, but you'll still have access to that domain. You still own it in custom domain management. So you can add this back at any time. So now you want to paste in your domain that you want to connect, which in our case is onlinehowtoguide.click. Go to the link, already own a domain you want to connect. Click on that, and then you want to paste in your domain into this box here. Then click submit. And now it's going to give you some instructions on what you need to do. So click on step one. It will open up an article explaining how to connect your domain. All you really need to do from this though is scroll down and you need to go to setting up your existing domain to your beacons page. It's going to explain here that you need to add two different DNS records, which are A records and AAA records. We're going to do this together. It is very simple and basically right here are the only two instructions. So first we need to go into our domain. So click manage on your domain in Namecheap. Then just make sure you're on the Namecheap basic DNS. Then go to advanced DNS. And what you can do here is you can add some new records. So click add new record. And the first one we're gonna add is gonna be an A record. And in the host, you want to type in at. Now for the value, we can get that from the instructions here. So you can see we're setting up an A record with the name at and the IP address or the value is gonna be this here. So copy this IP address from start to finish. Go ahead and paste that in the value and leave this on automatic and click the green tick and that will add that one A record. Once that's been added, we need to add an AAAA record. So click add new record. Here you can see AAAA record. For the host, type at. And then for the value, we need to go back to that instruction manual and then copy and paste this IPv6 address from start to finish. So copy it in this value section and then click the green tick. So now you've basically connected your domain, right? Beacons.ai will be speaking to Namecheap and your domain. And now you just need to wait between 30 minutes and 48 hours for it to be connected. Now, if you click check status, it might connect straight away, but it might also need up to 48 hours for it to be connected. Now you can go ahead and check. So just copy your domain and see if it redirects to beacons. As you can see, mine looks like it's redirecting straight away. Let's see if it's connected. So there we go. So mine is connected within seconds. Yours can take up to 48 hours, but just be patient. As long as you follow them steps, you will have it connected. So that's how to do it. I hope that helped you out.